to the Jews when they demanded a sign from him was the sign of Jonah. And this is quite interesting. He basically adds, this is immediately after he's fed 5,000 people. But the Jews come up to him and demand a sign. And he goes, you will not get a single sign except the sign of Jonah. For Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights. So shall the Son of Man, i.e. Jesus, be in the heart and the bowels of the earth for three days and three nights. Various interpretations have been put forward to explain this sign. Firstly, it's normally given as a time prophecy that Jesus was, was to be in the, in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. The problem with this is that the numbers don't add up. So he was basically, he was placed into the tomb on Friday, Friday night, and we know that he came out on Sunday morning. So at most in the Jewish calendar, you can add that up to about, well, two, de two, de two, ni uh, two days and three nights. So the, the mathematics don't really add up. But if you look at it in a more of a kind of logical way, you'll see that Jesus was to be resemble Jonah. So Jonah was in the, in the belly of the world for three days and three nights. We know, according to the book of Jonah in the Old Testament, that he was alive. He was actually praying to God. In the same way, Jesus also would be alive in the same period. And this is exactly what happened. Also, bringing, form, bringing more into this, what was the sign of Jonah, though? Basically, it's the story of Jonah. To really get it, get it quickly along, he was on he was on a ship. His, his shipmates thought he was cursed, so they threw him off. And um, it was this was a heavy storm. So basically, Jonah faced certain death. Um, in fact, he was even then swallowed by a big whale. So he faced definitely he faced certain death. What was the miracle? The miracle was that Jonah survived. He was spat out in the land and he survived. What about Jesus now? Jesus is arrested and he's placed onto the cross. He is to face certain death. What is the miracle though? The miracle is that Jesus survives. Just like Jonah survived, same way Jesus survived. And then after that, just like Jonah goes back to his people and they accept him, what happens to Jesus? He goes to his people, i.e. the Eastern Jews, and they also accept him. So the similarities are, are, are perfect. And the sign makes com much, much more sense now. And this is exactly what Jesus is saying. He's prophesizing his own ordeal and his, his mission being accepted in the end. If you're, you're a Christian listener right now, listening to this program, what, what, to sum up, what are you trying to say? I mean, I mean you're, you're saying that, you know, let's just, let's just try and sum this up. You, you, you've, you've agreed that Jesus was born, born of a virgin mother. We've agreed that he was a truthful man, a truthful prophet. We haven't said that he was son of God, but we, you know, the, reason, the reasons for that we've obviously touched upon. So, as a Christian, what, what would you, how would you then read this message? What does it, what does it point to? I would, I would try to read the gospel narratives in a kind of, I would attempt to read them in a kind of objective method. Um, read it in the historically way and just kind of see, look, what was Jesus really talking about? What was his message? Did he, did he claim to be the Son of God? Did he tell people, look, to attain salvation, you must accept my atonement, you must accept that I am going to die on the cross? I mean, did he say all of these things? It's when you read these Gospels and you combine them and read all of the narratives together, you begin to see the, a kind of picture unraveling that he was an ordinary man, he was definitely uh, a very special, in special in the sense that he had a direct communication with God, like all the other prophets, and um, he was again just like a prophet. Of, he was basically a prophet of God. He came to preach to the Jews. He traveled everywhere, preaching and healing at the same time. He didn't. He stayed away from the Gentiles. He didn't preach to any of them. Um, so this is the kind of message that we are basically telling our Christian friends: that look, we believe in the same Jesus, but yet our Quran, as far as his attributes are concerned. We differ in that sense. So we don't believe him to be a divine human being, rather just a prophet of God, continuing on with his mission to the Jews. And like, well, in the end, the final message would be that Jesus himself prophesied of the coming of the, a future prophet, the Paraclete, the Paracletos in Greek, which we probably would probably have to discuss on another topic, but we will obviously interpret that to be referring to the Holy Prophet Muhammad in Islam. Thank you uh, very much for that, Monsieur. Unfortunately, that is uh, all we have time for on tonight's uh, program, and it leads me to thank 
uh, our uh, very special guest, Mashoud Ahmed from the Ahmadiyya Muslim uh, Association, who's given us his time this evening. Thank our listeners and thank Voice of Africa Radio for this continued opportunity to share our views and to spread love between religions. Our show will be back with you next Sunday at 7. And until next week, I bid you a greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Thumma salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Thumma salatu wa salam